everyone, welcome back to Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Today's video is two things, an unboxing of my Mr. B's Crime Syndicate subscription and a review of a Mr. B's Crime Syndicate subscription book, Black Ice by Karen Jarhardson. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name's Alice and I have way too many books and in spite of those way too many books I have been receiving a book subscription for the past year since January and this was a Christmas present from my lovely mum and it comes from Mr B's Book Emporium in Bath and it is a reading subscription all about crime books <laughs> called the Crime Syndicate subscription. So if you've been here a little while I'm sure you will know about this and today I actually filmed this yesterday as an unboxing and I then finished this book yesterday night and I thought I'm actually going to combine the review and the unboxing. So first of all I'm going to hand over to Alice from yesterday and she is going to be unboxing the latest, the August book for the Crime Syndicate subscription. So here is me yesterday. So first of all let's get into this parcel, see what Mr B's have sent this month. So so far everything that I've had from Mr B's has been new to me authors and yeah been very impressed. So let's see what we have in store this month. <laughs> so the books always come in this very cool dust jacket with like a, a detective on it and this one intriguing <laughs> blurb straight away here says crime novel of the year daily mail and I can also see that it's got a printed sticker that says CWA dagger winner. Mm. So intrigued by that. Let's see if we can get this, this jacket off and see what it is. Wake. Okay so it's called Wake by Shelley Burr. I've never heard of this. Um, it's got loads of positive stuff on the front. Thrilling from the Times, Outstanding, Sunday Times, Sensational, Outstanding. So this says no forced entry, no fingerprints, no tire tracks. What really happened to Evie McCreary? And this says it's an international bestseller. It says it's the CWA debut dagger winner. So that's interesting. So it says on the back here, everyone, th everybody thinks they know the McCreary family history. Now it's time to reveal the truth. Mina McCreary's sister Evelyn disappeared 19 years ago. Her life has been defined by the intense public interest in the case. Now an anxious and reclusive adult, she lives alone on her family's abandoned sheep farm. When Lane, a private investigator, approaches her with an offer to reinvestigate the case, Mina re rejects him. The attention has had nothing but negative consequences for her and her family and never brought them closer to an answer. But Lane is persistent and his obsession with the answer will ultimately risk both their lives. This was originally published last year and it does say it's a debut. There's some great reviews in this. There's a little blurb about the author here that says Shelley Burr is the winner of the CWA Debut Dagger Award with Wake 2019. That's weird because it says 2022 it was published. An alumni of the ACT Writers Centre hard copy programme and a Varuna Fellow. When not writing she works at the Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment in Australia. She lives in Canberra but grew up splitting her time between Newcastle and Glen Rowan where her father's family are all sheep farmers. Wake is Shelley's first novel, Murder Town is her second. So that is very handy. If this is an Australian author. It will work perfectly for Australia September, which if you haven't heard of yet is a new readathon 
to read Australian books and that's being hosted by Scott over at Gunpowder Fiction and Plot. I will link his video in the description down below because if this is Australian that will be my read for September sorted for Straya, for Straya September. Very interesting pick from the crime syndicate. Okay now hopefully this was a sensible place to put the review because since I spoke yesterday I have now finished Black Ice by Karen Gerhardson. This was a book in translation and it was translated by Ian Giles from the Swedish. I think this book was originally published in Swedish in 2018. Uh, it was translated by Ian Giles in 2021 but it was first published in the UK in 2023. Now, this was sent to me by Mr Bees in June I think. I was really really excited to have a translated book sent to me. Um, always interesting to try books from different countries and I actually set out reading this at sort of the beginning of the Women's World Cup readathon. Even though I was selected for Denmark not Sweden I ended up sort of reading this book a little bit throughout the tournament and I finished it yesterday on the eve of the finishing of the tournament so yeah I did read a book for Sweden even though I actually never got the team Sweden in the end. Without any further delay what is Black Ice about? So Black Ice is a book mainly centering around three women Sandra, Jeanette and Kirsten and also one man Jan and those are the perspectives that we get and it's set predominantly in two years 2014 and 2018. The basic premise of this is that back in the 2014 timeline there was an accident that involved some of these characters and basically changed their lives in different ways. So this accident involved black ice on a road and basically what this book does is give you a little bit more of the story in each part and that kind of acts as a twist. So there were multiple twists throughout this and this is a spoiler free review so I won't go into the plot in too much depth but I did think that in some ways that was cleverly done. I liked the fact of a slow revealing, a sort of zooming out so that we see more um, elements each time. And in some cases it was a sort of leaving out of information. In other cases it was sometimes a little bit deliberately misleading. Now, did I like Black Ice? not really and that's kind of why I've decided not to do this just as a review completely on its own because I really don't like to be negative about books as much as possible but I just did not get on with Black Ice at all and I'm really really sad to say that. For me when I started reading this I initially thought oh I'm not getting on well with this translation like to me the translation felt a bit clunky, the language just felt not quite right. I don't know if you've ever had this feeling but I have had this feeling with a translated book before and this is why I didn't used to really read much translated fiction because it's just something where you feel that the language is a little bit off in English. So just these weird sort of outdated turns of phrase at times and just things that don't seem to quite fit into place. And at first I thought it was the translation that was causing this sort of stilted style of language and that was causing me to not fully enjoy Black Ice. But the further on I read the more I thought how can the translation be completely to blame for this? Like there must be an element that some of this is the writing style. So because I don't unfortunately speak Swedish I can't say if this is a good translation or not. Um, it didn't really work for me the style of writing but that could have been the style of writing of Karen Gerhardson or it could possibly have been the style of writing that Ian Giles has translated it as. So I don't know how to unpick that but for me it's just read in a really really stilted way 
I didn't ever really like any of the characters in this at all and even when bad things happen to these characters and they have moments where you feel sorry for them they didn't even really pull off the emotions for me like at one point without a massive spoiler at one point somebody in the story goes missing and the character who this should have most concerned just didn't really seem to show any emotion. She just sort of accepted that this had happened, um, blamed somebody for it, but didn't really have any reaction. And it just wasn't believable for me. Um, and this wasn't the only thing that wasn't believable for me. I didn't really believe in this plot and it sort of interspersed at times with like newspaper articles that are interspersed and as the story goes on you feel like this is being presented as though it's really happened it clearly hasn't really happened it's way too far-fetched if this really has happened then the truth is definitely stranger than fiction because yeah I didn't believe it for a second um this didn't really do anything for me. It didn't tick any of my mystery or thriller boxes. It wasn't fast paced and engaging in that way. It wasn't giving me a mystery I desperately wanted to untangle. To be honest, I probably should have DNF'd this book, but because it was my subscription book, I didn't want to do that. I did want to read it all to be able to talk about it in full without DNFing it. But looking back on it, I don't feel like my decision to not DNF was in any way justified by the way the story ended up. Who would I recommend Black Ice to? I think you might like this if you like like a quieter thriller that isn't fast paced and that slowly reveals things and tries to crank up the tension with little twists every so often that aren't necessarily twists they're more like reveals of something we didn't know before so yeah if you like that kind of thing in your kind of suspenseful book then you might like this I personally couldn't get to grips with the style but I think if you like this kind of writing style then this would be a good book for you. I can't wholeheartedly recommend this one because I just didn't think it was really doing what I hoped it would and I was really really disappointed because this has a very intriguing blurb and it does make it seem like it's going to be a bit of a a revenge thriller and I'm not really sure if it did that as well. Now I did read this quite slowly over a longer period of time and that was mainly because I didn't always want to pick this up and because some other books kind of got in the way. I do think that this would benefit from reading it all at once or reading it in <laughs> fewer sittings than I did but for me there just wasn't enough plot to push this for me to want to keep reading it continuously and there also just wasn't really a character for me to latch on to to really like and to want to follow for this. This is probably the first major disappointment that I've had from the Mr B's books. I have much preferred all the others, even the first one When Ghosts Come Home which wasn't my favourite. It was a considerably considerably better book than this one and yeah I'm quite sad to say that but it just didn't work for me. I'm sure that there are readers out there who would enjoy this but sadly I was not one of them. So this video has been both an unboxing and a review of books from the Mr B's Crime Syndicate subscription. I will link all of the links down below linking to my other reviews of the Mr B's books and also linking to um, where to look if you want to find out more about this crime syndicate subscription. I am in no way sponsored by Mr B's, I just got this as a present and have been enjoying the books so far apart from black ice. Do let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts on translation versus writing style and 
whether there's any way to tell which one it is that is bothering you so uh, yeah I'd love to hear if you have any insight into that. That's all from me today I hope you'll give this video a like if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I will be back again very soon hopefully with some more positive bookish experiences and uh, I hope you will join me for those. Bye for now!